Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're going to learn how to create a rounded edge on a square image in Photoshop Elements. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop Elements. And uh, here's that picture. And what I want to do is I want to round the corners of this picture. In order to do that, the first thing I have to do is select the Rounded Rectangle tool. So let's go down here, down, 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 and here's the rectangle tool. So what you have to do is left click and hold and you'll see the other tools that are hiding behind this. And I want the rounded rectangle tool, so I'll select that. To understand what's going on here though, we need to look at the layers panel. Where's the layers panel? The best thing to do is to go to window and see if it's selected. There's layers and that means it's going to open up my layer window and here it is right here. So what happens all the time in Photoshop Elements is, see this right here? Your photo is locked and you really can't do much of anything when it's locked. Well, how do you unlock it? What you have to do is double click and this new layer window opens up and then you have to click OK. And they call it a new layer window, but I don't know where that layer is. They, you think it, it's around here somewhere, I just don't see it. So we really need to create a new layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the layers panel again and go down to the bottom. See this first button here? Create a new layer. Let's click on that. Left click one time and release. And there you see uh, our image is on layer zero. And here's our new layer. It's a transparent layer. That's what the checkers mean. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to draw on the new layer. Not the layer with our image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my rounded rectangle and to do that I have to get really kind of precise with the mouse and try to get all the way up in that left hand corner it could affect your rounded edge if you don't get too good so if you don't get too close so I think that's good so I'm gonna click left click and hold and now I'm gonna draw my rounded rectangle okay now if I wanted all four of the edges rounded I could probably release it about somewhere about right here but I don't want that. In this instance, I just want the top of the image to be rounded. So I'm going to drag this shape down further below the image so you can't see it. And now I'm going to release the left button. Okay, so here we go. We've got a re rounded rectangle. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we have to go over to the layers panel and we have to drag this layer of shape one of a rounded rectangle below the image that we want to create the rounded corners on. So I'm just going to left click and hold and drag it below. Okay, and now it's below and you see the rounded corners. Now I want to go up here to layer. I'm looking for create clipping mask and there it is, it's dimmed. Well, that drives me crazy. Why, why, help me. Okay, the reason why it's dimmed is because to create a clipping mask, you have to have your image layer selected. So let's go back down to the layers panel over here and select the image layer. And now I can go back up to layer here, the layer menu, and now I can create my create clipping mask, which is what I need. So I'm gonna click on that and watch what happens when I click on it. Boom, looks pretty good. That's exactly what I want, but you're not done. You have to go back up to the layer menu and now, to finalize this, you have to select Merge Visible. And boom, there you go. There's your image with the rounded corner. That's all there is to it in Photoshop Elements. And this is exactly how I made the image that's on my website. So you can check it out at infopuppet.net. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you'd like to see next in Photoshop Elements from Info Puppet.